Hi, my name's Harry. Welcome to another episode of Welding Fabrication. Today we're going to be looking at uh, setting the torch up and cutting through some material using the oxyacetylene process. Um, so I've got a couple of nozzles here which I can show you. Um, there's two differences. One is a uh, is 3 64ths and the other one is a 16th. And what that basically means is the nozzle size itself, one is slightly bigger than the other in terms of the holes in the end of the nozzle. Uh, and the idea is that the bigger the nozzle, or the bigger the outer holes, the amount of pre-flow, uh, so the amount you can preheat the material, is greater the thicker the piece of material you're going to be cutting. So as the material thickness is greater, so does the, the hole size increase as well. Okay, so what in this little book I've got here, what this shows is, it's a diagram here, so we've got two pages. One is for oxypro, oxycetylene, the other one is for oxypropane. So if we look for instance, um, it's very, very small right, and I can, I can say this, this is a 16th here, then it says a range for a 16th is up to 25 mil material. Um, so uh, it depending upon what we're doing, so 60 to 50, uh, and so on, depending upon the gas pressures that we're gonna apply as well. So it's not just about the nozzle size you're gonna be using. What this, help, what this basically shows us is in conjunction with the size of the nozzle that we're gonna be cutting with, and also the pressure that we're going to set the regulators at, that tells us effectively um, the best way or the best pressure to cut. So in the instance, at the moment we're using a 16th nozzle, the material thickness we use is approximately 15 mil thick material. Um, so if I, look at a, if I look at a diagram here, gas pressures, uh, in terms of uh, for the oxygen, I'm looking at approximately two bar on the oxygen and I'm looking at about a quarter, uh, a quarter of a bar to half a bar on the acetylene. So what we're going to do is we're just going to double check our regulators, and I've already preset, so this is set just above uh, 0.5, and this one is set at 2 bar, and what we're going to do is we're just going to come back over here very, very quickly, and I'm just going to light the torch and cut through the end of the piece of material. So, again, make sure you're wearing correct PPE, gloves, and your tinted safety specs. The other thing to make sure is that when you are cutting, make sure that the hoses on the floor, make sure they're behind me, because I don't want to be cutting onto the hose themselves and burn a hole in them. So we'll turn our torch on, set our flame up, and what we're going to do, settling first as before, and then gauge the oxygen, like so. Set. What we're going to do, in the face of the material, we're going to get it to a cherry red colour, and then when it's at that stage, we're then going to engage the oxygen on the top, we're going to cut through the material, and go to the next over the we're going to cut through the face of the material, and cut a small piece out. We're on the edge of the material itself, we're just going to bring the torch to the edge, we'll do our bit close up this end, get it to a cherry red colour, engage the oxygen, so, at the height of the torch away from the piece of material, my preheat check, they're sitting approximately about two to three mil away from the material itself. Cut the right way through like so. You see there, I'll head the material out of the way. Got a nice clean cut on the piece of material. Okay, nice and clean. What I would say is that this point is from when you nod yourself, if you want to cut from the inside or the outside, always try and cut from the edge of the piece of material. You get a much easier cut. But so when you're cutting on the edge, like so, don't have your nozzle too close. You don't have a jet to the touching, you want to have a slight offset, so have a couple of mil and a large set of torque. Save your face of material. Always make sure in terms of the heat that you're in position where it's not going to get too hot. And what you will find, that otherwise, Right, so, um, if it's too hot, you end up burning your hand as well. So make sure, turn the fuel off, make sure your hand is at a, a decent distance away from where you're cutting. Right, thank you very much.